Hello again, welcome to you and I play Binding of Isaac or, or Afterbirth. Pete's here, doing the daily. Hello. Ah. It's a uh, Kane daily. Come on then, Pete. Does Kane have like one heart? Uh, like he's got one eye. One eye. Oh god. Two right. hearts. That's Two hearts, and we've got to go down to. We've got the whole key piece. I think that means we have to beat Mega Satan oh, because no. we started off with a key. So good luck with this. And don't forget, right, so we're doing a daily, you have to score points. <laughs> okay, Remember? let's go quick. But the HP is probably good. Now, what we've learned so far is that picking up an item costs about 30 points. Mm -hmm. So you should not pick up items you don't necessarily need. Although I think that picking up that HP just now was valuable. Yeah. Um, you really definitely want to try and do boss rush, because that's worth about 5,000 points for completing it. Really? Can you skip it and... Uh... Well, if you think you're going to lose 5,000 points by doing it, then yeah, skip it. Okay. But no, you get the points for finishing it and spawning the item at the end. See, also, there's, there's a bit of a problem here because I've never thought I could say it. <laughs> oh, you did alright there, though. We're getting, we're getting to hang these down spiders. Oh, good. Yep. Famous last words. Um, we also decided that you should explore. Exploration gives you points. You get points for visiting a new room. And it's almost always worth fighting the room to get a consumable, because it usually, unless you take a lot of damage, which is likely, um, you'll probably earn more points than you uh, than you cost in doing the room. Yeah, I mean, getting an item. That, did you what? see that little dick? <laughs> There's these new TNT barrels now that can move. You can push them. Obviously. Uh, no secret room there, apparently. Go on in. Let's fight the boss. Now, this is a Mega Satan run. Uh, I would be surprised if a lot of people actually succeed in, in the Mega Satan part of this. Like getting that far, basically. Yeah. Um, notice that. Especially me. Yeah. Uh, we're on the 16 hours left of the daily run, approximately. It said 16, it might have been 6 to 17. So that means we've had, you know, 8 hours worth of people playing it so far, so we'll see how well we do compared to 8 hours worth of people, which is about a third of the people who are going to play it, presuming there's an even distribution around the globe. Now you want to shoot that? Indeed I do. Can we just rack up points by killing spiders at spawns? Uh, that's probably worth doing, because you get the spirit hearts for it. Uh, just head down. I think. Yeah, it's not worth going to the shop, even with 6 keys and a golden key. There's no bombs there, which kind of sucks. I'd love to get that tinted rock. We've got the spirit hearts from the bandage, so... Indeed. Huh. Well... I'm doing okay, so far, to be honest. So far, like, recently I've discovered that I, I'm really bad at paying attention <laughs> to the to sort of the things that are happening around. Like, yesterday I lost the daily because there was a troll bomb that I just wasn't paying attention to, and but... it killed me. Okay. <laughs> okay, troll bomb. Uh, you are happy. He's done it. <laughs> we don't. We probably don't want that. Really? It's going to cost money. It's going to cost points to pick it up. Well, and it's you know fear shot. Okay. Which just means that every just every time you shoot some dodge, every time you shoot something, it's going to be a chance that it <laughs> runs away from you and makes it harder to kill. Items that drop consumables are very valuable for daily runs because they increase the amount of points you get. Just by increasing the chance that pickable up things show up. If you could get like some sort of uh, thing going on with a IV bag or something, and when you get hit, you drop coins, an item like that, that'd be great. Yeah, I think you would lose the points for taking the damage from the IV bag, but you may get more points for picking up the coins that it drops. That's a good point, but in the same sense that using an IV bag doesn't count towards. Um, your deal with the double chance, I think. It does still cost points. Well, the blood bank costs points still. Oh. Just stand there and take it, man. There was a tinted rock back here. Yeah. One of these rooms. Hopefully. Yeah, down there. Try and get some pots while you do it. Don't get some pots. Oh, wow. <laughs> Even better. Unintentional. You can get into the shop if you really want to. <laughs> with the one bomb. Or uh, <laughs> zero six. cents. Or six keys. I'll take that. I might use the strength card. The... I might just use it on the boss. Well, the spirit hearts in the tinted drop are really... A little horn again. You know what? <laughs> Screw you. This has happened horn. every single time. He almost got himself there. 
I feel like maybe they've put a put a waiting in the chances of little horns showing up because it's a new boss and they want everyone to fight it as much as possible. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's good. I definitely want that. And Mom's knife. How are you with Mom's knife? I found myself really bad at Mom's knife. Probably want the guppy item as well. I know Mom's knife guppy is not quite as good as uh, you know normal tears guppy, but mm -hmm. but then. I don't know, Guppy's head would be amazing with Mum's knife back. Good job. Also, it's a mega stand run, so we need as much power as we can get for it. Mega stand. <laughs> I've never heard him called that. It's a, it's a northern line, isn't it? Ooh, that's oh, good. That's what I think. Try not to take it at the expense of being able to kill the things on the room. Yeah. Right, we definitely need to replenish that HP, although... One of the benefits, one of the things that we're going to really benefit from getting to the Mega Satan fight is permanent Polaroid invincibility, so we probably Indeed, want to make this a spirit hard run if possible. Yeah. Guppy's paw would be perfect. And I'm going to get hit a lot, so... Ooh, I've seen enough money to that. actually go to the shop for one. Pretty good. Oh, I didn't see this room. I, personally, am not great at Mom's knife. I haven't used it in a long time. I'm just going to take it. Oh, the bean, perfect. I'm going to lose <laughs> points. Shouldn't have that up, it's going to lose points. Um, I find it really difficult to... There's a... Oh, retrovision. Oh, let's give everyone headaches who's watching. Because um, the, the thing about Mum's knife is that it will always be in front of you wherever you are. It's not like you throw it and then it boomerangs or does some elastic thing to come back. It's just always orthogonal to you. Mm -hmm. um, and it's really difficult to know how far it's going to go. Maybe worth coming back to get PhD. Yeah. There's enough coins there. But you might be able to get them naturally without spending them. Oh, shit. Bomb. And... Yeah, I think Is it easier in retro vision? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's my face. Okay, I, I knew it was going to be pretty OP. Probably one that has got uh, survivability. Flight is probably think, worth it. I think that's definitely worth it. But the other two, maybe not so. No. Um, you can now pick up the coins without spending the bomb. And then maybe get a PhD. Mm -hmm. if you I can, was just if you thinking. Can read it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, don't pick up the battery. What does it say? Wait, we just got a Oh, question <laughs> mark. I was like, we picked up PhD. We don't know what the pill is. I'm going to explain. It was. It was what it said it was. What is the triple press remark? I have no idea. It's a new one. Ah. Oh. Uh. Yeah, oh, that happened. See, it's really difficult. Sometimes it's worth just using Mom's knife as a melee thing. Yeah, I mean, I see Northern Line doing that a lot. But I've rarely got. I mean, I've hardly played Isaac, so I just. I, just, I don't have the chance to use it that often. <laughs> so, I've been my playing... skills with it aren't amazing. We're playing greed mode today on my other save because I figure it's a great way of practicing. Mm -hmm. You just keep pressing the button and stuff turns up and attacks you. And you just sort of get the hang of the things that are fighting you. Mm -hmm. Trouble is, it's a lot harder than it, than you think it was. And with the Azazel nerf, you think, oh, I'll do an Azazel greed run because then I can just blitz through a load of enemies. Yeah. Really fast. It's almost catharsis playing Azazel, isn't it? Um, so with what? You, you just pick up a Zazel, you go, right, I'm gonna shit all over the game because the games have shit all over me recently. With a nerf, ooh, probably want to use both those in here and then leave the with the lemon party. Another guppy. Uh, you can pick up the packs because it would be cheaper than three because it will give you some back. And it's probably worth picking up the guppy thing. Yeah. Probably should have done it for. Oh no, actually, it kept you the demon hearts, that's really nice. That is good. They probably took them from the front. Now we're, uh... Wait, what? <laughs> what is this transformation? I've seen it before. Cthulhu or something? Yeah, why do you get a Cthulhu transformation? We've got a pact. We've got... I don't think that's worth it. Uh, yeah, it's probably not worth the cost of... No, but it's also not worth hanging around watching it. Because <laughs> <laughs> you do lose points over time as well. Well, it's like a point a second, isn't it? It's slightly faster. If you watch back on the video, you'll see that the 
points go down faster than the second still. I think it's about... That was pretty good use of that. I don't like spiders. <laughs> no, that's not what I've got. You can see that the points go down maybe one every two thirds of a second. Get out of jail free card, what does that do? What is... Oh, good job. Oh, no. That doesn't even help. Glad you had to do that room, not me. Don't forget this is a daily challenge. We're going to be judged against all our peers. Except it's your Steam account. Well, <laughs> you'll be judged against all my peers. But you're the only other person I know who plays this game, so I'm always on my own. <laughs> so we will judge each other. You should, you should play the daily on your own, so that when I finish recording dailies when you're not here, I can show how much better I am than you. What is this one? Whoa. Poopy gerbies and the dead. We've been getting pretty good deal with the devils, actually. Oh, there's another there's one here. Another one. Well, the pact is helping out, then. Oh, we've been here. We've already, <laughs> we've already taken it. Um, uh, pageant boy. Yes, it's worth. The coins are worth more than the price. Cool. It's like 70 points to pick up those, um, so you gain 40. I think I'm just going to go down. Yeah, we can spend the money on the next floor. It's too much of a. Long Probably just bypass to some sort of amazing shop item to do that. Now, what. Do you know what the get out of jail free card does? Does it get you out of... I'm going to use it here. Uh, no, I think it'll unlock the, maybe the doors on a room if you're locked in. Okay. That's what it suggested to me by the just the description of it. Don't forget these do brimstone, okay? What was in the mob trap? We should have a look in the mob trap room. Just stand next to it. It'd be quicker to pop it. Yeah. Money! And you got a lucky penny. Can I go to the, go to the mob trap room and see what we get? Uh, I think that's worth it. You get a lot of stuff from these. What is that thing? And a new item. Poker chip. It's double down time. I didn't even realise we had the paper clip. Yeah, Kane starts with the... You can unlock Kane starting with the paper clip. So in the dailies, Kane starts with the paper clip. Which is really good, actually. It's one of my favourite trinkets. It's, a, it's an understated trinket. It's not like the curved horn or something, which, you know, just adds two to your damage, which is itself really good. But being able to open every single golden chest that you come across, especially on this mode, is really useful. Is it just I don't actually know what the... You can... Good job. <laughs> Custom points. <laughs> I don't know what the poker chip does. Bad guy. Maybe it gives them more... God, I don't know. Just more coins. Let's go. It says it's double down. Maybe it helps on the gambling machines. <laughs> First time I've used my spacebar item, which I've had for like two floors. <laughs> Use it to great effect. It doesn't even recharge, it's once per room. <laughs> Use it all the time now, but don't take silly risks just to use your space powers. <laughs> Remember, you'll be judged on the amount of damage you take. I'll be judged on the amount of damage you take. <laughs> yeah. Does anybody know what umbilical cord does, important. really? No, don't forget that will still hurt. Of line. You can leave. You may have got points for doing them, but you probably would have lost more points waiting for them. That's almost always the secret room in that room. Okay, I'll go for it. I've come across those new champions that split into two. Every shit. Especially when it's those Eyeless Oozes. Oh, actually, it's worth going to the shop. And it doesn't really matter whether it's one more key here. No, especially since it's Groot. Groot could be good, yeah. That took oh, no time at all and gave so us some points, so that was pretty worthwhile. Okay, where can we go? Down and back. It would be nice to get some mapping, um, especially on the daily run. Mapping is very valuable because you can make a beeline for the for the important things. Also, is it? Would you say it's more beneficial to go and explore blindly or to go straight to the boss? This could be worth it actually for the melee damage, but uh, don't walk into fires. That does cost. <laughs> well. You can make a judgement call based on the shape of the floor to see whether it's going to be really expensive to visit the dead ends or something. Yeah, you can take that. Because you can spend it on the devil. We've been getting a lot of devil deals, so... Probably spend it there upon. Knowing the shape of the floor means that you can make a judgement call on whether you want to go all the long way around and get all the rooms, or whether that's going to be costly in terms of time. Yeah, it's good. Probably Krampus, though. Yeah, call it. Yeah. Cold would be good, yeah. I'm really bad at Krampus, isn't I? Especially with Mom's knife, where you have to be on line of sight with his brimstone shot. Yeah. 
Even more especially now that the son of the bitch has that rotating brimstone shot that you're not expecting. What, he has that now? I've never seen that. Yeah, it's new. On the occasion, the brimstone shot will rotate through 90 degrees like the lamb. And it doesn't even... Uh... Oh, good job. Oh, I was telegraph. That was just... It's a good thing we're having a, a spirit heart run, isn't it? Because <laughs> that's all the damage you've taken is spirit. To be honest, know. you've not taken that much damage. How have I got so many spirit hearts? I don't understand. Like, I would have expected... Uh, whatever yeah. came out of that, you killed it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you have to kill that thing too. The black one, isn't it? You've not taken as much damage as I think you were expecting to. Uh, There's a curse room nearby. But yeah, it's know. probably... Well, you can't get out of the curse room with it. Two of clubs, just use it. Because you'll respawn back in the curse room. That's good. But you can use it to abort a room that is, you know, a challenge, basically. Can't down. get out of the mom fight either, I'm just saying. <laughs> but boss rush. You can get out of boss rush, but you haven't been... Could you go to the admin? Oh, shit. <laughs> we want to oh, go into boss rush, though. We're probably the powerful enough to do it. At least, I would probably try and do it. Yeah. Because the amount of points we'll get for actually doing it is going to be outstanding. Uh, so I guess we have to go to Shell. We're going to get can you fight back. Mega Satan in Shell? You can fight it on both. Well, that's uh, not much use. That's not much use. Is 25 cents going to be good for points? Probably. Keeping it arrow isn't going to help at all. So you might as well take the 25 cents and do the... Yeah, why not? Our boss rush is now randomised. Which is entertaining. And that little haunt's going to chase you down, but... I was going to say don't kill the little haunt, because now you have to kill the actual haunt whilst Loki's flying around, but... Ah! Hey! That's probably the first time that strategy has actually worked for anybody. Play chicken with me. Look how much damage you're doing to each enemy, though. It's basically oh. one-shotting everything. And that's And the spirit heart, so it helps out. I think the Cuban Meat is doing it. Who else is on this floor? Oh, it's Hacker. Cuban Meat is probably saving you from several... <laughs> Coolest forms of damage right now. I don't, how am I not getting hit here? Does Mom's knife prevent shots as well? I doubt it. No, because then it would take them out on the. <laughs> I've never seen this thing, and now that's twice in one floor. Uh, when oh you, no, that's the. Uh, that's the good. Oh, okay. <laughs> bye. <laughs> I was gonna say like I was gonna wax dramatical about how awful that particular enemy was, but it just vanished. What's okay. The, what manner of mega fatty is? That? It's like a, it's a mega fatty with the, mega fatty. the, the yeah. but we're doing so well right now. This kill is... the kill the kill no the other one. <laughs> it's gonna drop poops, isn't it? It's the worst oh, thing the red poop. Oh, it's all right. It's the um, it's the yeah, hearts he's, version. He's dropping tiny hearts. Yeah, it drops tiny hearts, which hurt it. Which is really nice, actually. That's probably my favourite instance where the champion version is easier than the main version just because it doesn't leave the goddamn poops lying around. Try not to actually die, okay? We're really strong, yeah, that we're really powerful. That would be lovely right now. Um, could just stay alive. But, you know, oh, try not to do the northern line trick of going in really powerful and failing anyway. Okay. Well, it's also my trick if anyone else has been watching the daily videos. <laughs> it's my size of player's trick, to be honest. It's such a... Um, it's a very Isaac game. Yeah. It doesn't forgive you very well for making mistakes. It's, um... Whoa, okay. It's very easy for that. this game to just suddenly turn around and either oh. go from shit to amazing or amazing to shit. Yeah, All this for so 25 cents, I'm just saying. <laughs> what is that thing up there? It's for the points, man. Can we find out what the other thing is? Because it's scary. Oh. Oh, it's the, uh, is that a spider? Yeah, it's the champion. Hey. They launched a long way from the Minicool. Yeah, you want to kill that champ first. That was really easy. I'm liking the new champion bosses. Yeah, there's a hell of a lot of variety. I don't know what the hell each one does, but... That was good with me. Saving my life. <laughs> now we just need Infamy and Halo of Flies and... You know, Guardian and Angel. Anything prevents and... me from taking damage, that would be ideal. Because our damage is just... You want to pick that up? <laughs> oh, damage is just Yeah, but the damage you're taking is not something to be proud of. <laughs> I know, I know. This is a nice, easy version of the fistula. 
Oh, Jesus, what? Okay, kill that thing first. <laughs> oh, it's a bloat. Oh, I hate the bloat. The bloat. I've added a lot to the bloat today. I just don't know how to deal with it, you know? Especially when you've got Mom's knife, because the only place you can be is above it. Oh, we've won. What is that? Take I'm it. I'm taking it. Little, little Loki. Loki. Oh, sweet. <laughs> oh, I love these new familiars. Have you seen the new little, uh, little Gerby? He's uh, a Joker card. You might as well. Oh, Joker. Let's take it. Oh, can be in I've seen this. I don't know what it is, though. Like, I saw Northern Line take it, but mm -hmm. it didn't... I couldn't figure out what it did, and I'm pretty sure I've seen it on the carousel of characters as well. Like, I think Lilith might start with it. Or it's on Lilith's uh, thing anyway. Right, we're very not survivable, but we do have Guppy's uh, collar, which may bring us back. Try not to rely on it, though. Like technology. 50-50 chance of it actually going right. Okay. I don't like red boots either. Carrie and Queen left a red poop in the doorway in greed mode for me today. <laughs> That's always the best. And I walked out and straight into it. Uh, I think this is worth playing. Yeah, getting some HP would be probably a good idea right now. It's going to cost us points, but we've got the or points even map thing. Oh, an eternal map. Try not to lose it then. Good. There we go. Uh, a couple of more spirit hearts would go down really ah. well right now. <laughs> Yeah. Also, we have this sort of unavoidable uh, <laughs> barrier. It's made of a, apparently a lawnmower blade. Wow, Horrible. do not like that thing. You're like a very, very macabre ceiling fan. <laughs> <laughs> so if you can go. take off. Uh, this may not be worth it. Oh, it's red chest, though. <laughs> Just no, please. <laughs> Just no. <laughs> Seems to do less damage. I think if it. I had more HP, it would uh, be viable to do that. If you had, like, um. <laughs> oh, what God. are you doing? Okay, I've got to be really careful. Shape up or ship out. That's worth it. Um. What is that? Don't know. Dang. It's reward. That's quite a lot of damage. Like an out there. I don't like all these red tears. I'm not even going to try and pick that up. <laughs> yeah, I don't like all these red tears flying around. It's distracting me from what. Uh! Oh, you took damage. That was your eternal heart. Probably should leave eternal hearts until the end. Check for there's a tinted drop up here. Oh, yes. That would have been useful to find just before the fight. <laughs> yeah, indeed. No ice uh, room, so just. Me? Yeah. This uh, this bean that we picked up has been working wonders for us. <laughs> yeah, I've been using it practically every room. Do you get points for using it? No. <laughs> oh, that creep's not gonna hurt you. Oh, that's cool. Ah. Okay. This is looking more and more from my perspective. I do not like these things that just disappear every time you try and shoot. Them. Especially when you've got normal tears that are awful, and you try and come from back, and every time you get to them. They're just dipping away. It's frustrating. I discovered that um, I had a greed mode run with the shears. Oh, battery charge. That was really useful. <laughs> no, it's a four way shooter. <laughs> Shit. The, uh, these chaps, the shears don't attack them. They just stand next to them going, yep, yeah, what do I want? <laughs> do you want me to do with this? That's a uh, bug for these. Yeah, I think so. The greed mode run with the shears is amazing because you get eight. Um, you did it again. Save it till the end of the floor. Yeah, but... Like, save it till you come out. Uh, because you get eight waves in one go, which is eight charges. So you can have two shears bodies at the end of... Uh, at the end of eight waves of charge. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. How are we going to get that eternal heart? Oh, wait. Is there going to be a deal in the deal? For real. A deal. For real. Yes. That yes. is ideal. Well, we could get some points to fight Hush. <laughs> How do you feel about Hush? Um, with three red. Well, not three red hearts. Three hearts. Oh. That was weird. Um. 
I'm, I literally will have no chance. Yeah. I will die there. So every time I fight Hush, I end up with exactly one heart left, which is slightly better than Northern Lion because Northern Lion is dying. <laughs> well, he's only. I discovered also that you can cheese um, the Azazel's Brimstone by getting rubber cement. Oh, what in it? Does if Azazel's Brimstone hits the wall, it goes all the way across to the other wall. Oh, nice. So I've been firing away from all the enemies, just bouncing it off the wall like a like permanent trick shot going on. That's going to be a good synergy then. I'm not sure it's supposed to, so don't tell anyone. Probably not worth going into the cursed room at this stage of the game. Unless you can get through into a secret room, maybe there. Good job. Oh. That would have found it, I think. I'll double check. Got the bombs to spend. Yeah, I discovered a lot of cool stuff just playing Greed Mode, because the opportunity to find how things work in Greed Mode is a lot more than just trying to get through runs, because yeah. in a run you get one item per floor, but in Greed Mode you just keep going. You can get several, plus there's opp opportunity to get rerolls so you can tailor it. Okay, Satan fight. They blow up faster. <laughs> I just walked into him anyway. Oh my god, no. There's no. Okay. We good. We good. I find uh, Fallen and the older uh, Krampus fights still very difficult. I've only got like 300 hours in this game and I still got the other fucking fights. You can die. You go to hell and you die. I I just can't deal with the bomb flies. Just ignore them. I think there's only ever two on the screen at a time, Max. He died, but he died. <gasps> go back in. Is he gone? Please be done. Pick up that. Is it going to be done? No! Oh! Game. Just, just be more careful. Now. Yeah, that was perfect timing. <laughs> Eat. Right. Uh, Get him second pity on you. All right. You just have to do the Satan fight with Mong's knife without being hit. It's not rocket surgery. Also, this bomb. Still, still alive. Maybe we can find the full HP just to get. The trouble is having to go down to shell like this. You don't get the opportunity to get permanent polaroid invincibility when you lose a full heart. You just get the net economicon effect, which is. That's what I wanted. Oh, I thought he was dead. <laughs> <laughs> Every time this happens, the chance of it happening again, like the chance of it happening this many times, goes down. So. I think that's like the fourth time now. So that's half of a half of a half of a half. You haven't got very much chance of this happening, and yet it's happening. That's it. There we go. That's Pete. Do I lose points for dying so many times? You get you lose damage. You get damage. Oh. I think. There's no death penalty. Wow. Well, so six thousand. That's pretty good. After I'm, I'm pretty happy with that, to be honest. One third of the way through the day. So that's like a third of the total number of people we're ever going to play. But that's, yeah. For how many times you died, that's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> and for picking yeah. up some city items, it probably shouldn't have been. I mean, I really should have got to the end of the game, but still, I'm, I'm happy. I thought I'd play worse than that today, so. I've been playing worse than that. Just <laughs> watch the previous videos. Well, thanks for joining us for this daily, and we'll see you tomorrow for the next one. See you guys.